I mean, yeah. you can argue some people like Naruto would try to save both at the same time um, because he has a greater care for the average villager. But, like, if you gave him something he didn't care about, like, I don't know, a random rock. Yeah, he's ignoring the random rock. In this case, I guess the villagers are a random rock. They call With the example enough, of the saving idea. one or the other person, if, if there's, like, two people dangling off a cliff, you only save one. <laughs> We're just taking away shadow clones. Like, this is the trolley problem to where the point is either one or the other and you don't do both. And so if if Naruto yeah. can only save one, even Naruto would choose the one that he cares more about. Yes, but... He would do I everything mean, in cares, his power I do think to try and save though. both. But he's not going to yeah. sacrifice and, both that's a, a to key. try and save both. He will save one at the end of the day, no matter what. We'll try his best to well, save Well, I think though. it depends, because um, imagine Boruto and Hibawari as the two examples in that case. Naruto, I could definitely see Naruto in character. This might sound bad, but trying, he, he would never pick, but he would try to save both. And it's entirely possible that in Naruto's case, both of them would die because he didn't pick one, but Naruto still wouldn't pick one, even if he knew that. He would die trying, and he wouldn't pick one. That's the type of guy he is, at least with, like, those two examples. He's not picking between them. Yeah, Kawaki, pick, though, Pick isn't the right word. Very quick to pick. Pick implies that he's specifically not choosing one of them. So I don't think Naruto's the type of character to just ignore one over the other. But, like, for example, if, if there's only one person in danger, he's just going to go save that one person he's choosing to save them. In Naruto's case, he would choose to save both of them, but if he can only save one of them, he would throw himself in front of the way. But just instinctually, he would just throw himself in front of one of the people <laughs> if he can't choose them. So it's not that he's ignoring uh, the other person, it's just that I he can't make it that. to the other person in time. I honestly... I mean, you might disagree. I could see Naruto just freezing up and they just both die because he couldn't pick. He no, would have the heart to, to end up in one of them. If anything, but... he would just go with, oh, my body moved on its own. Because that's already a thing in the in universe and in character. <laughs> so, what's this... Like, so we can move past the discussion, but also derail. Assume that was the case. Which person would his body move on its own to protect? Boruto or Himawari? I'm going think? with Boruto because it's his firstborn son, and he also feels bad about Momoshiki. He's, like, guilty in the novels and stuff. Logically, he should do Himawari, of course, because Boruto's just going to die anyway, basically. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. I think he would regret his I don't know. decision, and he would hate himself for it. He'd feel so guilty that he let Himawari die, but... But again, choosing, like in this crazy. case, isn't letting be... Himawari die. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, this would be a crazy, like, plot point if they actually did something like that, though. 